Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to ask the cards will you ever kiss with this person? So someone requested for this question, for this reading and there were like 7 likes or 10 likes uh, to that request so I decided that let's make this video and actually it's pretty interesting because if you kiss that means that something will more will be there in your relationship something maybe you'll start dating or something so by asking this question we ask you more in a way so let's see will you ever kiss if you're interested in having this reading please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks and take your time please have you chosen so let's start with the classic tarot deck will you ever kiss Okay, six of pentacles and the tower. <clears throat> These cards are not good. These cards uh, show that um, <clears throat> some sort of break in your relationship that maybe if you are friends, you will separate somehow and you will not be in contact anymore. So you will not be able to date or kiss. And let's ask for advice regarding this person. Well, Ten of Cups is like, be happy, don't worry. And uh, of course, uh, this is the card that might point to the fact that the person might have a family. Yeah. And this might turn out to be an awkward situation. And it can be... And because of that, it just will not work out. Advice regarding that person. It's how it should be. It sh it sh you shouldn't kiss. Like, I don't know why it's saying that. But either it's because of your work and uh, your company. It might look uh, not good. Or it's because the person is having a family. And it might seem like an affair. And a third person situation. And that's why it's, it's going to be not nice and unethical. Or something like that. So this is our reading. A very quick reading. Let's have a look at our deck number two. Will you ever kiss with this person? This is steampunk tarot deck. Will you ever kiss? Ten of swords. Looks like right now you're in separation. We have... Uh, the card is the queen of cups. Oh, it might show that the person has another person. It might show that uh, the separation is there, but feelings are still ex ex existent. I don't see like a kiss because people are not together. King of Wands. Ace of Wands. We might have starting... Um, some new beginning you know after this uh, loneliness and separation feelings are still there so if feelings are still there we might have um, some sort of recovery to those feelings here we might have a potential attraction here uh, but I don't know if it will happen something advice for you regarding this person King of Swords, Justice, and the High Priestess. Uh, 
well, again, with the High Priestess, uh, it's talking about the King of Swords being very unemotional again. The Justice is maybe they're involved with the law or law enforcement. Maybe there's some lawyer, doctor, or something like that. The High Priestess basically talks about secrets and hiding a secret. Um, not telling someone or, or them even about you know, feelings or anything like that. Strength is about being patient and not and controlling your feelings. So to be honest, I don't see this happening here either. You know, in this case, I don't know what kind of person he thought of. Anyway, Let's have a look at our deck number three. Will you ever kiss with this person? The Tower, Ace of Pentacles. I, I don't see a kiss here either. We don't see two people, basically. We don't see lovers, we don't see two of cups, we don't see even, I don't know, temperance. So we have some sort of opportunity, you know, some sort of opportunity, maybe unexpected opportunity, maybe a, a, to have that kiss or, you know, something more physical, like coming from out of the blue. Maybe um, so here it's kind of it might have that you will you might be in a situation where this might happen, like in a party or you know, but I don't see it happening. I see the opportunity, but I don't see it happening. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. But this is either fear or um, something, but everything but not a kiss, you know. Maybe getting drunk. Who knows? But, yeah, it's not happening. Maybe thinking about it, wanting to kiss, but not kissing. So advice regarding that person. For you, regarding that person. Well, we have two queens. Here, um, maybe the person is um, not free. Maybe there is some sort of other females who are interested in that person so there is a competition and and because of that I don't know either they are difficult to approach or they they are not dating right now that sort of situation is here if it's a same-sex relationship for example girls it can talk about um Approaching that person, you know, communicating with that person. You know, trying to work towards that, um, basically do, initiating the conversations, initiating the uh, relationship, trying to build up the, you know... Um, thing with that person talk to that person regularly so basically you have to kind of be friends and talk and that sort of advice would be here work on it <laughs> so our reading number three let's move on to our deck number four Ooh. 
Will you ever kiss with that person? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, happy family kind of celebration here. And Six of Wands. Well, I would say this is very likely. Well, the cards don't say exactly that you'll kiss, but it talks that maybe publicly you'll kiss. Like if it talks about a festival, about like a maybe marriage or some sort of like you'll get married. It's going to be lots of people. It's a public thing. So it can be anything. It can be online. It can be uh, work, school, home. It can be anything. And maybe you, you will kiss that person. You know, in some cultures, you kiss people when you greet them. Like in, I think, France, you, you kiss and you kiss in uh, some Eastern European countries. And you kiss when you give a gift or you receive the gift as a thank you. Um, I know. So something like that public, it seems to be. Or maybe at the altar, you go get married and the priest will say, now kiss the bride. Now you can kiss the bride. And maybe you'll kiss the bride or you are the bride. Something like that. So we have lots of people. And you know why I'm saying the kiss is because of that rose that this lady is giving to that other lady. So it's kind of like a kiss, you know, and everybody's clapping. That sort of situation. Now, what is the advice for you regarding that person? The Emperor, Three of Cups, the Chariot. Well, here it can talk about... Um, trying to be in contact with that person, parting with that person. <laughs> I said parting with that person. And see, we have uh, two people having wine. And basically, yeah, it's a dating marriage. Um, this is 100% yes, I think, in this case. The person might be your husband because it's the emperor. Okay, so this is our reading number four. Thank you for watching this reading. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.